Welcome to March's LECO Challenge. Today's problem is Pacific Atlantic Water Flow. Given an M times N matrix of non-negative integers representing the height of each unit cell in a continent, the Pacific Ocean touches the left and top edges of the matrix, and the Atlantic Ocean touches the right and bottom edges. So the Pacific touches these rows and columns here, and the Atlantic touches these columns and these rows here. Now water can only flow in four directions, up, down, left, or right, from a cell to another with a height equal or lower. So if we started at this one, uh, we can move to all these cells here as long as they're lower than the particular height. So find the list of grid coordinates where the water can flow to both the Pacific and the Atlantic. Okay, so uh, this problem, it's definitely gonna be a depth first search or a breadth first search solution. And instead of trying to figure out which cells can go to both the Pacific and Atlantic, it'd be much easier to start backwards and create some sort of visited set, starting with the, um, the endpoints here, which would be hitting the Pacific Ocean. What we could do instead of looking for heights that are lower, we'll look for, try to tra traverse up, down, left, or right to heights that are going to be greater. If the height is lower, we can't go that way because that means it couldn't have come from lower to higher, right? So we're going to only go down paths that the height is higher or equal to it. After that, we will create some sort of visited set showing all the cells that the Pacific, um, that can reach the Pacific Ocean. And we'll do the same for Atlantic. We'll get a set of all the coordinates that can hit the Atlantic Ocean. Once we have those two, we can just get an intersection of both of them. And that's going to be our answer because if it can go to both the Pacific and the Atlantic from this coordinate, then that means um, that should be in our answer, right? Okay, so uh, let's begin. Let's start off by initializing, initializing a couple of variables. I'm going to start with the m times mnn, which is going to be the length of matrix and the length of matrix 0. Uh, there's also an edge case. If not matrix, we'll just return empty list. So the first thing we need are going to be a list of the starting coordinates for both PNA, Pacific and Atlantic. And I also want to have some sort of set. Uh, I'm going to call it VP and VA for visited Pacific and visited A. And this is going to keep track of all the cells that we could actually reach the ocean to for both the Pacific and the Atlantic. All right, so first things first, we need to have our starting coordinates, right? Or it's actually the ending coordinates, but uh, here in our algorithm, that's where we'll be starting. So uh, to do that, we know that we have both the rows and columns. What I'll do is just say for, let's see, row in range of M, we're going to add, let's see, this is the row and this is the column. So for P, we're going to append a tuple with the row and column zero. Now for the Atlantic, we also want to do uh, something similar, but we're going to do the row and the last column here. So that's going to be n minus one. Okay, now we want to also have for all the columns range of n. We're going to add to p append c the first row and every column and with Atlantic the last row and every column. So now we have all our starting points. Okay, great. So now we need our depth first search function. Uh, what I'll do is pass in the row and the column as well as the visited set because these are going to be different to keep track of that. Uh, let's see. So first things first, we want to add to our visited set the row and column. Next thing we want to do is traverse the four directions that we can tra travel, right? So to do that, um, let's see, I think I can just initialize that up here. And we're going to create a couple tuples here. 0, 1, negative, negative 1, 0, <sighs> 0, 1, and 0, negative 1. Whoops. OK, so for. Uh, we'll call it di dj in directions. We're going to calculate our new r and new c to equal r plus di and c plus dj. Oops. 
And we have a couple conditions that we need to make sure uh, we're in. So first things first, we not got to make sure we're in bounds. So uh, the new R has got to be greater or equal to zero, but less than M. And the new column needs to be greater or equal to zero and less than N. We also need to make sure that our starting point here is less or equal to the new one. Is that right? Less or equal to, yeah. So the, so the new one that we're going to needs to be higher. Uh, and finally, we need to make sure that we haven't visited. So, and let's see, new r new c not in visited. So if that's the case, then we could continue our depth for search to new r, the new c, and pass in the visited set. Now we don't need to return anything because this set will be getting updated and it's, it's called by reference. So we have all that. So now all we need to do is uh, for everything in p, we'll call it depth for search. So let's see, for x, y in p, uh, I should call that rc, rc in p, we'll call our depth for search, for rc and vp, right? And we'll do the same for everything in the a. Okay, so let's make sure this is working. Because once this is finished, we can just return the intersection. Just use the and symbol here. Return a list of all the coordinates that intersect. Okay, so let's make sure this works. Okay, that looks like it's working. It's all out of order, but I don't think the order matters here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this print and try submitting. And there we go, accepted. So type complexity wise, this is m times n. Uh, we're going to do that twice, but since it's only twice, it, it's um, equal to m times n. Space complexity, we do have our sets and we do have this. So yeah, space complexity is also m times n. But you can also try to attempt a breadth first search. Um, in some ways, that's much cleaner and it um, uh, might be faster. Um, probably not. It's about the same. But breadth first search might be more intuitive. So you can also go in that direction as well. Okay. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.